So, we've come to the park. What's time? 20 to 6. And I'm getting some pains and I've lost some of my mucus plug. I'm getting pains like, maybe like every six minutes or so. I'm getting really scared. I'm really nervous. But yeah, maybe we'll have a baby soon. I would definitely say they're bearable. They're like uncomfortable. But we'll see if it gets stronger or if it fades out. But yeah, I lost some blood and something must be happening because it is hurting. But I'm just really scared and like scared for the children. I don't know why. I'm scared I won't get to hospital in time. I don't want to leave the kids. But yeah, I'll update you when I know. You're so sweet to me. You had a good day. Mm -hmm. I think we've had a really nice day. Mm. Beautiful. Right, this needs to go in there. Let's put the buckles through the bottom one. Mm. So see these? Make sure they stay straight and put it through the bottom one. I lose my breath whenever I see you. Flossy? There's nothing in there. She thinks there's food in there. Where's it gone? She went, mm -hmm. Where's it gone? Don't jump. on this um, and I'm gonna tie some ribbon to the bottom of it so that's what I'm doing now what is the time um, I haven't got my watch on it's eight o'clock <laughs> what else can I do Just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. I literally just wandering around in the garden because I came outside to call my dad to say to him because he's two and a half hours away to say that I'm getting pains that are like. 45 seconds long every five minutes and um could he please just keep his phone on loud tonight just in case i need him to come down he's two and a half hours away so my sister is 20 minutes away she's gonna come down first and then um when she comes down he'll leave and then she can go because she's got work and things and commitments and, and my dad and just as i went to call him i called his wrong number so I went to save the right one and he messaged me saying, could you give me a call to talk about the baby? 
how spooky is that? So I said, like, keep your phone on loud and I'll let you know because she might be coming. So we'll see. But I'm going to go inside and just have a rest. I've tidied up and made sure that everything's like in order. I'm ready for her. I'm scared, but I'm ready for her. It's really exciting. I think when it does happen, I think it's going to happen really quickly because with Flossie, it happened very quickly. Um, they sent me home saying that I wasn't in labour. Um, and when I got home, it was too much. So I went back down there and um, I was eight centimetres. So yeah, I don't think if it starts, it's not going to be long. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. It might fade off. Um, but yeah, I will catch up with you when I know more. come in every like four minutes but they're like 45 seconds long and they the rule is 411 so lasting every four minutes lasting a minute every hour i don't want to be dramatic that's my main thing is like i hate to go somewhere and waste people's time <sighs> like my dad essentially come down and i don't <sighs> but then i know how quickly i progress I don't know what to do. I'm literally just walking around the garden. I cannot believe that she's coming. Thank you. 
do whatever you need to do. I'm just going to try and do this at the same time, my darling. All right? Okay, right, so so right.
So we are on our way home, it is half past nine in the morning, she was born at half past two, um, it just all happened so quickly, I think we got her up just after twelve and then um, it just all happened and it was so quick and it's just taken a while to get out of the hospital because of like all the checks they need and things, but um, Kurt's just gone into Sainsbury's to get us something to eat and then we're going to go home to the children and chill out i'm so tired but i'm gonna get the baby so i'm just like i'm so tired um i had a shower there which was really nice because um i actually gave birth to her in the pool um as you say um and i was just covered in blood and stuff so i had a shower which was really nice but oh, I'm so tired, like it's half past nine and we've been awake since yesterday at half five, six whenever Flossie woke us up. So it's been like 27 hours and can't wait to go home, just like get on the sofa and just fall asleep and feed and fall asleep and... Curtis has got a week off, well, sort of, I think. He works for himself, so I don't think he's booked any jobs in. But yeah. Um, I can't wait to take her home and show the children. But yeah, this will probably be everything for my birth vlog now. So I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for following our journey. Sorry, I look so exhausted. I am so exhausted. But yeah, thank you so much for following along. I'm meeting our baby and I'm going to take her home to her brothers and sister. I was going to say sisters. I'm going to take her home to her brothers and her sister. And 
Start our life with her. Thank you.